Damascus steel was actually created by ancient Indian metal workers who possessed a secret so powerful that modern science couldn't replicate it for over 200 years. These legendary blades could slice through European armor like butter and bend without breaking, making them the most feared weapons on any battlefield. The real Damascus steel originated in India around 300 BCE, not Damascus as most people think. Indian smiths discovered that mixing high carbon steel with specific trace elements created these miraculous blades. They called it Woot steel, and it had this distinctive watered pattern that looked like flowing water frozen in metal. Using a technique that created microscopic carbon nanotubes within the metal structure, they would heat crucibles containing iron and specific organic materials to exact temperatures, creating steel ingots that contained between 1 and 2% carbon in perfect distribution. What made these blades supernatural was the watered pattern that appeared on the surface, created by carbide bands that formed during the forging process. European crusaders encountered these weapons during their campaigns and were completely outmatched. Though absolutely terrified, their own swords would shatter against Damascus blades. A Damascus blade could cut through a silk scarf dropped onto its edge or cleave a knight's sword in half. The secret died with the last Indian masters around 1700 CE when British colonization disrupted traditional metalworking guilds. For centuries, metallurgists tried desperately to recreate the formula. They finally cracked the mystery in 1981 using electron microscopy, discovering those carbon nanotubes that gave the steel its incredible properties. Modern attempts still can't match the original quality because the ancient smiths possessed generational knowledge that went far beyond just mixing metals.